Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Bad news, the Flare Token airdrop, previously known as the Spark Token, the Flare Token airdrop has been delayed yet again. And I'm noticing that the XRP community, uh, lots of people within the community anyway, are turning against Flare at this point. And there have been numerous delays. And this is the most vocal the community has ever been against Flare, in my estimation. And I, I've also noticed that, you know, tons of people want all of their tokens distributed at once rather than over a three-year period. And, and I actually feel the same on that point. Um, you know, some people are also upset because they are supposed to receive their Flare tokens through Celsius, but Celsius went bankrupt several months ago because it was apparently a Ponzi scheme. So some people are frustrated also because had, um, had Flare you know, been able to achieve their original goals in terms of when this is going to be a launched then they would have gotten their Flare tokens by now, presumably. But now it's a question mark as to whether or not they will. So let me say this at the outset here. I, diversity of thought's cool. I'm, I'm fine however you feel. I'm not going to tell you that, you that you yourself are wrong. You're entitled to your, your opinion. But I will share with you why I don't believe that it's worth being <laughs> venomous or upset towards Flare. You know, they're giving us a token for free and doing all of this hard work. And I think that it's very difficult when you're developing any type of software to know uh, exactly how long it's going to take. You, you don't know what hurdles you're going to run into. They've never done this before. You know, and so I'm willing to give them just about all the leeway in the world for them to develop something which is incredibly hard and coordinate, you know, 100 plus exchanges distributing this token so that I get something for free when I did nothing. So I get it. People are, are, are frustrated and a lot of them. So you're entitled to your own opinion. I'm sure some of you out there listening are, are frustrated. I personally am not. I, I think that it's incredible what, what's being developed here. I think that this is a net plus for the XRP community. And even though there have been some hiccups, I just think if I were in their shoes, I would really appreciate some kindness and understanding. I would re that, that would go a long way if I, were, if I were them. So just some food for thought. And I'm going to share with you, um, you know, some of the stuff here. Um, and then I'm going to give you... Uh, Hugo's full breakdown of why this is, is happening. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so just yesterday, there's this headline from you today, which isn't quite right. They wrote, Flare Airdrop finally starts October 24th. Eh, not quite right. Um, there's a thread. I don't really need to read the whole thing. It's on your screen right now noting that uh, Flare will be decentralized on or around October 24th. And in recent days, Flare had announced that they were expecting the, the airdrop to take place, I think they said from October 24th all the way up to as late as uh, November 6th would be the, the, the latest it would have been for the initial distribution. But if you click on their latest update, you can see here that the token distribution event is now, they think, uh, probably best suited to take place on January 9th of next year, 2023. And again, we'll get to, to why this is happening in just a second, but I want to illustrate just how strongly people are feeling about this. Um, now, me personally, I'm going to continue to just hold my, my Songbird tokens. I'm going to, when I get my Flare tokens, I'm, I'm not. I have no intention of selling any of this. I'm going to see where this goes. I understand that both are down from all-time highs substantially. Uh, here's the, 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 uh, the Flare token. Uh, on live coin watch mind you of course this is an iou because the blockchain obviously isn't live but it's at 48 cents it had an all-time high of two dollars and 45 cents songbird looking way worse all-time high of 71 cents currently worth um 1.7 cents but see to me that represents opportunity i don't think that this is a reflection of anything regarding the long-term viability of songbird so i personally don't i'm not scared by this like i just am not i don't think people know what in the ever-loving hell they're doing uh, the market still moves in tandem i think when things go you know, crazy the upside, we have another alt season. I think all this is going to explode. It could be this, like this type of stuff could re, you know, result in life-changing wealth for people. You put that in conjunction with whatever XRP hold, it's just like, I, I'm very thankful to be in the position I'm in, even if we have to wait for the tokens here. Um, and then there was also this. So XRP Crow, member of the XRP community, he makes all sorts of cool infographics. Well, he, he um, provided a new one, and this is from just last night, uh, an update regarding the token distribution of it for Flare. And scrolling through the response to this, it's like people are not happy. I'm not going to read all of these here, but some were, I think there's, maybe it's this one. Uh, this person named WB uh, said, 
uh, to XRP Crow. If you go on support this thieves, you will lose a lot of followers. Believe me, stop telling us about Flare Networks. And then he also tagged Hugo, uh, who is the co-founder and CEO of Flare. And again, I'm going to get to his comments. Uh, I want you to hear exactly what he had to say. But let me I just want to illustrate first how upset the community is right or wrong. And, and that's why I also want to just kind of share my personal thought. Maybe I can, if I can kind of quell some of this, I'd like to because... Um, you know, your, your voices deserve to be heard, but I'm just saying, like, I, I just, I think some of this is going a bit too far. I think that we should, you know, give Hugo the benefit of the doubt, cut some slack here. That's just my personal opinion here. Um, but then to state that XRP Crow here is going too far just by talking about, you know, the Flare token uh, distribution of it, that's definitely too far for me. Uh, somebody else wrote to XRP Crow and said, Flare Networks is a joke. Um, here's what Attorney Deaton had to say. I can only imagine the number of moving parts involved in a distribution of this magnitude when dealing with so many different entities with different infrastructures, etc. I don't blame anyone for being frustrated, especially Hugo, but I have faith in the Flair team and vision. Yeah, so I feel the same as Attorney Deaton. I'm not going to, you know, be harsh against people that feel differently than me on this, but I'll just articulate the point that I just, I just don't think the most reasonable response to what's occurring here is to just be mad at these people who are building this nice thing for free. Um, here's a perspective from an XRP community member named Sifu who wrote, unfortunately, I have moved on from Flare, Somberg, Flare Networks because unprofessional delays greater than two years, multiple changes throughout the project, name change, distribution change, and token distribution event uh, change, untrustworthy, unprofessional, lack of clear communication and discussion with community. Twitter and Discord replies are limited. Losing community. Without the support from community, a project cannot be successful no matter how advanced the technology is. Sold all my uh, 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 Songbird and Flare IOU at a loss. I will be selling all my Flare airdrop when slash if it actually happens one day. Invest in other better projects. Disclaimer on. To reiterate my thread to Flare Networks team, Great technology needs to be accompanied by professional management and integrity. Accept criticism and rebuild your community trust. So I wanted to point this out because, again, like this, this has broad support. And, and so he is right. Like the XRP community is definitely losing confidence in, in Flair. That's how, I, again, I'm trying to check, kind of quell this because I don't think that the most reasonable approach is to lose confidence in Flair. I think that they're doing their best in something that is just an absolutely seemingly insurmountable task that they're they're on the cusp of achieving here. I'm willing to give way more slack, but not everybody feels that way. So nothing against Sifu for sharing his perspective here. It's, totally, it's, it's, I, it's fine. I get it. And I'll note that he got 131 uh, hearts on that. He's got 919 followers. That's a ton of hearts for that many followers. That's a ton. So I'm just telling you, there's a lot of the community that feels this way, and I'm sure many of you listening actually do feel this way. I, I personally don't. Uh, so no disrespect to anybody that does feel this way, but I'm just trying to encourage you to maybe just, you know, Cut a little bit more slack here. You know what I'm saying? That, that's it. Just my personal opinion. Uh, and you can see here is another uh, individual named Skinny Danny who shared this GIF. Uh, and I'll, you know, censor myself here. It says BS amplifier slash detector with the needles <laughs> moving all the way to the top. Uh, and these are not isolated tweets. Like I'm, I'm telling you, there's not that many tweets in support of, of them. And then there was this, uh, Robert Morris. I'm going to stop on this because it's going to induce a seizure probably. But th that, that was a GIF that says, warning, this person is a scammer in response to Hugo's thread. And I'll share the thread in just a second here. You know, I've used that exact GIF to highlight actual scammers. Now, Robert Morris, Hugo is not a scammer. Okay, <laughs> I just got to tell you, I can know if you're frustrated, fine, you're frustrated. That is a step too far. I must respectfully state, Hugo clearly is not a scammer. This is on the up and up. Nothing like that is happening. So I think that this demonstrates upsetness. It demonstrates anger, but that's a bit far, my humble opinion. Uh, and then there was this from somebody named Tanhauser responded to Hugo and said, you're a snake oil seller. That's who you are. And again, th these are not the outliers. The, 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 there are all sorts of comments like these again and again and again. I just think it goes too far, which is why I'm trying to help people to maybe, maybe chill out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then there was also this from hodlstrong.crypto. Wrote to Hugo and said, what I don't understand is that this should have been taken into account from the beginning. How could this have been overlooked in the project planning? And then he tagged me also. Thanks for tagging me. And what he's talking about here, you'll see as I go through Hugo's thread, is the reason for the this latest delay has to do with coordinating with exchanges. And so hodlstrong is saying, okay, but why is this a surprise now? Which is a perfectly reasonable question, by the way. Then there was this from Game Reaper 187 who said, if you had faith in the token, 
you'd give us our 100% at launch and let the market decide the value. Rather, you're forcing people not to cash paychecks in order to receive their next paycheck. Do you see a problem here? If exchanges are slow to distribute, that's their problem. Okay, I admit, I agree with that like, completely. I don't think that this should be doled out over a span of three years, rip the Band-Aid off, and let the market do what it does. It happens one time, and then we go. But if, if it's so weak that that type of volatility destroys the project, then it doesn't deserve to exist anyway. But it wouldn't destroy it. It wouldn't destroy it. If prices go low enough, there are always going to be people out there that will be willing to speculate on a brand new project. It just, it wouldn't be a problem. You're adding complications, in my humble opinion, by you know, letting this drag on for a number of years, the distribution, just do it at once. So I do agree with that. And I also say if exchanges are slow to distribute, uh, yeah. I mean, if because look, if you didn't do self-custody to claim your, your flare tokens, you knew that... Uh, <laughs> sorry to say, the exchanges they they're they're in control of when you get your stuff, and that was a known factor. So if some aren't gonna release as quickly as you might like, oh there you go. You, you're not gonna be able to get everyone to line up perfectly here. XRP Crypto Wolf said to Hugo, "Why not just distribute the entire amount of Flare to the XRP community so you won't have this hassle with exchanges every single time you airdrop Flare again? We're in a bear market, so it's gonna crash regardless. But who cares?" You don't see Ripple worried about XRP's price. Boom. Golf clap there for XRP Crypto. I spot on. 100% agree with that. Somebody named XRP Deriv said, I agree 100% on day one. Flare will quickly get into the right hands and they will stake it for rewards. Rip the Band-Aid off and the volatility will be short-lived. Everyone will be happy because even the delay, uh, even with the delay, they don't have to wait the absurd three years. Life is too short. 100% agree. I love seeing that. Uh, and then RJ wrote to Hugo and said, I don't know why people are mad, uh, what people are mad about. It's free. I would understand if someone purchased it and got nothing, but come on, people, it's free. <laughs> I don't really pay attention anymore what Flair Company is doing. If it comes, then it comes. Otherwise, I'll assume everything is on hold. Yeah, and so I shared that sentiment. Why would I be mad about not getting my free thing when I want it? Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I just don't feel that way. I just respectfully disagree. Uh, and now here we are. So here's what Hugo had to say as far as the explanation for all this. He said, I understand that people are frustrated about the delay in distribution. I am equally, if not more, frustrated. There are so many useful things that myself and the team could be doing other than liaising with exchanges at this point. We have been working to coordinate the distribution with exchanges since late May. There are two things on this that you need to know. Number one. There's a high variability in how exchanges operate with respect to projects. Some exchanges provide a streamlined and information-rich process to enable projects to understand the variables that matter to the exchanges. Other do, others do broadly the opposite. This makes it hard for a team and a project to plan around that. And number two, a distribution of this breadth and magnitude doesn't fit the standard way that exchanges operate. Exchanges are used, used to operating on their own timetable, and we are asking them to work with us in a coordinated manner to the benefit of the community. Naturally, exchanges don't have the same sense of urgency around this as we do. When we announced that we would launch uh, October 24th through November 6th, it was caveated that it was subject to exchange discussions. Currently excluding Japanese exchanges, which have their own process, 70% of the tokens going to the exchanges will be distributed shortly after a token distribution event. Getting final confirmations from just three more exchanges will take this figure to over 94%. I made the decision to push back the distribution for two reasons. And number one, if there are months between exchange distributions, then recipients at later distributing exchanges will be adversely affected by not having the chance to take part in the FTSO, participate in governments over FIP.01, or receive the token distribution through the mechanism outlined in FIP.01 if it goes ahead. Then the much bigger reason, number two, although unlikely, as all exchanges have shown willing, there is the possibility that an exchange doesn't distribute for a long time or at all. It needs to be strongly noted. Whilst the tokens have not been distributed, Flare working together with the community have leverage. After token distribution, this leverage disappears completely. Lastly, although I can certainly appreciate that it may not look like it from the outside, the team have done a tireless job and have been very successful so far in getting the 70% that will be distributed swiftly after token distribution event. When and if social pressure needs to be applied, please work with us to get the rest of the way there so that Flare can launch well and the community can get the tokens they deserve. 
Lastly, January 9th would be the absolute last date for token distribution event. Uh, come what may, we will do the distribution then. If we can do token distribution event sooner, we will. I will update you when we have further news or have an action that the community can undertake to help get the distribution out. Okay, so here's the thing. And I'm, I'm on Hugo's side, but still, I, I, I'll say this. I, I don't care about... <laughs> I don't care about all the exchanges uniformly releasing at the same time. I just don't care. I don't think that that's something that Hugo should care about. That's unless he can articulate a reason why we should care. I, I to this point, I have I haven't seen that reason articulated because it's still if it's decentralized, it's still going to launch. It's still going to be fine, right? So if some get their tokens later, okay, too bad, so sad. You always could have done self custody. You know, this is a known factor that you're not in control of what the exchanges do. So you just move forward in good faith and you don't worry about it. I'm just, I, I haven't seen articulated why it's so important that we do this type of coordinated uh, drop where it's, we, we do everything to ensure that it's at the exact same time. I, I don't see this. So that would be my critique. Uh, I'm not furious about this. And maybe if there is a good reason, maybe Hugo has one and I'm just unaware of it and he didn't share it in this thread. I don't see it though. So that's why at this point, my, my stance is pretty well, who cares? Just release the damn token. Like I, so I would rather see that stuff. I'd rather see him stick to the, um, you know, by that November 6th date. But it's not the end of the world. Oh, gosh, I have to wait another couple of months after all this oh, no, for my free stuff. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll stop you. I mean, you let me know what you think. I know it's divisive here. So uh, no disrespect to anybody. However you feel, let me know. It's OK. Um, but I'll stop there. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say. Right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time to the moon Lambo.